did you know that you can make money on Canva? Like not just using the platform, but really on Canva. Like you can sell your stuff on Canva. It's crazy and I'm excited to show you how. Let's go. Our first step is to go to canva.com. And before you even log in, you're gonna to come to a page that's just like this. Now you may not have created an account with Canva at all, and that's fine. Or if you do have one, that's also fine. But for this tutorial, I am looking at Canva from the perspective of not being logged in. So completely logged out. And when you completely log out, you go to the very bottom of the page. And where it says community, you're gonna go down to where it says creators. Now, I don't know why this took me so long to figure out, but it did. And I've only really been selling on Canva for a couple months now, but it's definitely a lucrative opportunity and it can be a really good side hustle. After that, you're gonna see create for a marketplace like no other. Become a Canva creator and earn a passive income doing what you love. So you just click become a creator. From here, it's going to ask you to go ahead and log in. So if you already have an account, you can go ahead and log in with that. If you don't already have an account, you just click sign up right here, follow the prompts, and then get logged in. It says, welcome to Canva creators. What type of content will you be creating? If you're not really sure what kind of content you wanna create, just pick something that you think you might enjoy making. You can choose templates, elements, or educational resources. I am going to choose elements because that's the one I have already and Elements to me has the largest variety. Plus Elements are the easiest thing for me to create. Then you just go to Register Interest and it says Expression of Interest to Become a Canva Creator. Now this is really important that you fill this out really well. Canva Creators is on a mission to build the world's best and most diverse content marketplace. It's an opportunity for designers, photographers, illustrators, artists, and subject matter specialists to share their work with over 100 million Canva users. Creators work remotely with complete flexibility and freedom as they empower the world to design. So exactly what we're working on on this channel, right? Passive income, guys. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and fill it out with your first name, your last name. And then it has, what is your email? If you have a Canva account already, please use that email. Then you pick which country you are from, what your preferred language is. And what would you like to contribute to the Canva library? So just give them a good idea of the types of things that you're gonna to wanna to create. Photos, graphics, music, audio. I definitely choose graphics because that's more in line with what I like to make. Like for instance, let's say you want to draw um, a little heart design or a mountain or um, a leaf, a flower. Those types of things are elements. Those are the things that when you're creating in Canva that you see on the left-hand side under elements and you get to click and use those are actually pro item, right? But they're from people who are contributing to the website. So you are applying to become one of those people with a little crown that's interested in creating educational resources and elements. You can definitely put that down. I suppose I could put that down as well at this point because I am a homeschool mom, but I'm not going to do that today. Now, after you've done that, you could just hit submit. However, I did just find out that they have the application process on hold for elements. And that's just because they have a lot of designers and a lot of interest right now for element creators. So if you're wanting to get in right away, instead of kind of sitting on a wait list, you could try one of the other sections. So let's go back and look at those real quick. Let's say that you're really good at designing templates for something. Now templates can be all different types of things, but let's just click on templates and see what happens when we do that. So as you can see, when you click templates down here below, it's gonna say apply, which means that that's open enrollment. You're more than likely going to get in on that more so than you would on elements because they're really full right now. So let's go ahead and click education resources. So when you click education resources, there's a thing that says for sign up. So that's something to keep in mind. 
Now I'm not saying that if you want to do elements that you shouldn't because it says register interest. I'm just saying that your likelihood of getting in right away is going to be higher if you choose templates or education resources. If you're not sure what kind of templates that you could possibly create, try to think back to some of the videos that we've created previously. And you can even go look on the playlist I have on here that has everything to do with Canva. Basically, anytime you click templates and those different things pop up, that's what a template is. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's like when you are accepted as a contributor for Canva. So here we are on my Canva account that I have my pro membership and I'm also a contributor. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see that I have my design name and down here, it'll say creator. Now, normally this section right here wouldn't be on your account. So this is something that'll pop up after you become a contributor. And when you go over to Element Creator, this is what's gonna happen. It brings you over to an area just like this. Now, the only frustration I have with Canva is that they have a review process that can sometimes take like three to four days. And as a designer who sells on multiple websites, this is the part that's a little discouraging. But I do wanna tell you that I have made good money on Canva, that it is worth it, and that if you just take the time to upload them maybe once a week, it's really not too bad. But I tend to upload maybe like 20 elements at a time, and then it goes through this review process. And every time you log in, it'll tell you if it's reviewed and if it has been accepted or if it has been declined. Let's go ahead and look at some of the designs I have that have been accepted. We can look at this by clicking on my items over on the left. So here are just a few of the designs I have. You'll know that they're approved because they have a big, huge stamp right there that says approved on them. As you can see, this one right here was rejected. Now, I'm assuming that this one was rejected because it says the words North Pole. Maybe that is a copyrighted phrase that I just spaced in my head and I just didn't know about. But regardless, it'll tell you if your item is approved or rejected. It's not going to tell you why, they just don't have time to do all that stuff. So here are a few more. Again, this one was rejected. Now, do I know why it was rejected? Nope, but it's okay, let's just move on. This is actually supposed to be garland. Could be that they didn't find that it was up to the standards. It could be that they didn't like the lighting. It could be that they just didn't like design at all. Also, when they're reviewing, they're checking the quality. They're checking to see, is this something that we think people on our platform are going to actually use? So that's something that they're gonna be looking at. And they could have just looked at this and went, I don't like it at all. I don't know what it is. I don't know how the customers would use this. And maybe that's what they were thinking. As you can see, most are approved. There are a few that are gonna get rejected. This one right here was rejected and all it is is a string of Halloween lights. So you just never know. Sometimes they're gonna get rejected. Just know that it makes the most sense for you to post like, I don't know, a few at a time. Even if you're just starting out posting one, just to see how, how it goes, test the waters, maybe five, whatever. You know, I tend to, like I said, make like 20 at a time. I just doodle for a while. They're all PNGs. I just load them on here and then I wait and see what's approved and what's not. And then every time somebody is creating something on Canva and they go to click a pro element, I get a little tiny piece of that. Especially if you have a lot of these elements up there, it really adds up. And that's the same way with templates or educational materials. Let's go over and just look at templates real quick, just so you can get an idea of the types of things that you could create and what other pro membership people are creating. So see, you just never know, you guys. Okay, so look at all these templates. These are all different templates that you could create. Looks like somebody has created a template for maybe a realtor. That would be something that would be really fun to create. Uh, and I honestly wouldn't even have thought to make a flyer. I don't know why. So don't get hung up on thinking you have to make like a planner or a resume, like I said. Those are just the first two things that popped in my head. But as you can see, we have Instagram posts. We have, um, we have Instagram posts. There are flyers. There's um, logo templates, and these are pro, which means that a contributor that was accepted to the contributor program as a template artist 
created this. And now anytime somebody grabs this and then makes something from it, they're getting a royalty from that. I think templates could be a lot of fun. And also I just realized there's a lot of people who are really good with social media. So let's click over here on social media, scroll down and let's see, how about stories or even TikTok stories? Templates is so huge. So see your stories templates. So you could create a template for stories and that maybe there's a whole bunch of them. So let's click on this one right here. And so this is the designer of this template. And anytime somebody selects this and tries to and wants to make it their own and customize the template, he's getting a royalty from that. So understand, you know, it could be really anything. And there's a lot of people, a lot of you guys that are really good at making these TikToks and the reels, uh, Instagram stories, etc. You know, you're really good at making this stuff. So uh, understand that these can be templates too, and you could be making money off of people using your templates. So anyways, guys, that is our video for today. I hope you learned something. I hope you're excited to at least look into this. It really is a huge community and it's it's a really great way to make some passive income from home. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.